Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kay and this is All Things Kay and I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me on another video. So in this video, I am doing three looks, one palette using the Natasha Denona Circle Loco Palette. This palette was in and out my cart because of the price. <laughs> this is one of her more expensive palettes. So I picked it up at the VIB sale and I'm actually excited that I have it. If you love color, you will love this. If you don't love color, this is not for you. <laughs> Let's just be honest. A lot of people I heard say that the color coordination is not really inspiring and to me, I think it is. Like, I don't have to have stuff grouped together for me to make an eye look. I just go in and create. This look, however, which is gonna be look number one, was inspired by the picture, I will link it here, that was on the Sephora app. I just looked at it and just went through the colors and threw this look together. This is pretty much one of my boldest looks, but I love it. I'm ready for a summertime barbecue, let's go. <laughs> and yeah, I just love color and the creativity that this palette brings out in me. I really, really enjoyed using this palette and I really enjoyed creating these looks for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy them too so let's jump into the video and start off with look number one which is this look that you see me wearing now
Okay, so this is the look so far with lashes and liner on. This is what we're working with. It's quite colorful, quite vibrant. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I'll be back to finish the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm back, I have my um, rest of my face done. I did put the um, Permagel in Extreme Black from Pat McGrath in the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna use the colors that I used on the eye on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with Fireworks, which is this orange first, and then use some of this Acrobat and just buff out the um, lower lash line and add some mascara. So this is the second look using the Natasha Denona Circle Local Palette and this look is totally out of my comfort zone and I really enjoyed how this look came out. I did have a little bit of trouble using that Acrobat color which is this turquoise um, bluey green color but I think it came together really nicely. I love the yellow gold. What, what's the name of that shade? Grin. I love that shade on the eyelid and the orange blended out beautifully and it, it shows up I think really true to color especially on my skin tone which is really good so yeah so this is look number two. Now it's time to move on to look number three so let's get that one started <laughs> some lashes on so you know the drill I am going to go off camera finish the rest of my face then we're gonna do the lower lash line Natasha Denona Circle Local Palette and I stuck with the purples and the pinks in this look. I must say overall I really enjoyed using this palette. The only thing is I found some of the matte shades a little bit hard to blend. That might just be user error. That might just be the base that I'm using. I got to play around with it a bit more but I didn't find the mattes that easy to blend. My favorites in here are the shimmers because Natasha Denona does some bomb shimmers. I love the shade on my lid which is Razzle Dazzle and I love this inner corner highlight which is Aerialist. It's beautiful. So I did enjoy using this palette. I think between the three looks this might be my favorite or look number one which was inspired by that look on her website but you guys let me know down in the comment section what um, look you guys liked the best on me but I think this purple and pink which I'm biased because your girl loves purple so I'm kind of biased but I think this oh, I really enjoyed this look and I I think this one is my favorite out of all three looks. I think that's everything I wanted to share. I really did enjoy using this palette. I think it's a perfect 
spring summer palette and i'm actually glad it's in my collection it really took me out of my comfort zone so that i could create more and try and put some colors together again did have some difficulty with blending some of the mattes but i think the looks did come out well i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed thumbs up the video and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a video and until next time, bye guys.